morning, happy Thursday, and welcome to this edition of the Coffee Chinwag with myself, Jennifer Corcoran. All this week, Monday to Friday, I've been chatting with amazing female entrepreneurs, and the two things they have in common is, one, they're amazing experts in their own field, and they can really help you with your business, and two, they just completed the LinkedIn Tribe Academy with me, which is an eight-week program for female entrepreneurs who want to learn how to leverage LinkedIn. So today, I'm going to be chatting with the amazing Rosie Parsons, who is a personal branding photographer for female entrepreneurs. You might have already seen some of her work on the home feed. She uses like really vivid, bright colors, and she really helps female entrepreneurs to make a splash and an impact on the home feed. So before I get her up, I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping. If anybody is watching me, and Rosie today, let me know in the comments because sometimes the comments can be a bit slow to come true. If you're watching it live today, let us know where you're joining us from in the world. And likewise, if you're watching this later on replay, if you just put in the hashtag, hashtag replay, that would be amazing. So I have got a set of questions to ask Rosie because I really am passionate and fascinated by the power of personal branded photography. But I urge you all to come with your questions as well. Or if you've got any thoughts or feedback or anything that you want to run by Rosie, don't be shy. Um, I'm a massive fan of personal branding and I will actually be having a photo shoot with Rosie in a few weeks. So I'm super excited about that. So I think that's all my housekeeping. So with further ado, I am going to bring up Rosie. Actually, I can see one comment, which is amazing. I'm just going to spotlight Gertrude, who's watching from Spain. So thank you for joining. We never know, you know, with, with the comments on LinkedIn Live, when people, when the comments are going to come true. So I'm really grateful. Thank you, Gertrude. So I'm going to bring Rosie up onto the stage now. So hello, Rosie. <laughs> Thanks for joining hello. me this morning. Hi. Yeah, it's really nice to be here. Thanks for asking me. My pleasure. So I've only given you like a quick intro. Do you want to tell us a bit more about what you do? I can see your lovely studio behind you there. And um, I'll launch into some other questions after. Yeah, sure. So um, yeah, I'm a personal branding photographer. And that is all I do. I absolutely love it. Um, I work with um, women in particular, because um, the way that I do it is, it's kind of a day that's not just a photo shoot. It's no, it's not like coming like to any normal photo studio where you just come and sit down and, and then like cheesy grin is quick blows over in five seconds. Um with me, like you come in and it's like a full experience. Like I really love to make people feel pampered and um I've got a hair and makeup artist. I've got um Caitlin who does behind the scenes um and we have a really fun day and we do lunch and have like your favorite music playing. Like I ask people beforehand what their favorite music is and like their favorite food and stuff. So like it's a really nice day out and and it's all in my home studio as well so it really feels nice and relaxed um and yeah so it's really good fun amazing and i can't wait to visit your home studio in a few weeks and if anybody's listening today rosie is based in exeter in devon and it is massively uh, accessible even if you're in london you can get the train straight to exeter yeah, actually, um, in, in fact, like most people do come, like I, I don't really even have that many people coming from Mexico. So, like you're probably well, like one of the few like local people coming. Just, most most people coming from from London, and I had people from Sheffield last week, and um, yeah, someone's booking in from Switzerland too. So it's like really exciting, yeah. Amazing. So you've gone global. Do you think that's yeah. due to the power of like the last year and the pandemic and people kind of um, spotlighting or seeing you more? Do you think online? Um, well, I think, um, so obviously, like you mentioned, like my photos are really nice and bright and colourful. And I yeah. think a lot of people, is, is a combination of things, like no one else is doing that bright, colourful kind of work. So I, I custom hand paint all my backgrounds to kind of bring those bright colours. Other photographers can't just go out and buy those colours. Um, everything's custom designed. Um, yeah. And I think like when you go on LinkedIn, they really do jump off the page. Um, like even when I was just like logging in the feed the other day and um, one of my clients, Laura Perks from P uh, PR with Perks, she like posted one. I didn't know she was going to post it. And I just was like scrolling down and like it just went bam in my face. Yeah. I was like, wow, it really does have so much impact. So I think especially on LinkedIn, it, it really like jumps out the page because they're so colorful. And because we spend that whole day kind of having a genuinely good time, the photos 
people look really happy so you kind of feel like oh who is that person and and i think like it's just you can't really like easily replicate that with like just any other kind of photographer i've kind of like custom built this as exactly as i want to and and people kind of see that and they're willing to travel for it so yeah, yeah it's been nice amazing yeah and i can always spot your stuff on my feed i know whether it's a picture of yours um just by the bright colors like mm -hmm. so that's great to have your own signature style that people just yeah. recognize at a glance um, yeah. I've got a few more people joining us and I just want to launch in because I've got some great questions to ask you and I think they'll be really beneficial even if people are watching this on the replay because mm. I just think person branded photography especially as a business owner is just so important so yeah. my first question just to launch in is mm. how um how can people like use a series of photos rather than just having a nice headshot because I think initially when people start off that's all they think of is that one shot for their head so yeah how, like, how does it benefit you to have like several shots yeah I, I definitely say like I do get asked like can I just do a headshot and it's it's really you need to think of it and, and what's wider kind of thought process of that is you're talking about your personal brand um so a headshot is like okay yeah great when people check out your profile they think yeah she looks cool interesting but what you want is to be like when people go on the website you know, immediately, I work with a lot of service-based um, women. So, um, like, if you coach or something, you go on your website, you need to be, like, showing yourself and you need to be connecting with people. So you're going to have that like, banner image and then people are going to find out more about you and they might go to, like, About Me, the contact page. You need to be appearing in, like, you don't want to have the same photo everywhere. It's yeah. just going to get really boring. And the other thing I really recommend to people is like to keep showing up on LinkedIn. And like you mentioned, like I, I try and do that as well. And you need that content. Like you can't just keep showing up with that same headshot. Yeah. Um, so it's going to get very boring very quickly. And people will just like tune out if you're using the same photo or say even the same three photos all the time. You want to like have a, a series of photos so that you can write really, you know, expertly about your niche and, and then put in a new photo that people go, like they get, that's gonna stop them in their tracks. They're gonna look at it and then they're gonna read what you wrote and they're gonna stick in their mind. And then over time, as they warm up to you and things, then eventually when they're ready, they'll reach out. But um, yeah, just having a headshot is, you know, if you use a headshot and then post a selfie, it's uh, people aren't gonna take you very seriously. Yeah, I totally get that. And I think, yeah, like you said, it's all about building that know, like, and trust, especially if you are like mm -hmm. a coach or a consultant um, or you're, you're doing something ongoing. People need to kind of know more about you. And we're all quite nosy as human beings. And yeah. we just want to learn about people so that we can connect with them and make sure they're the right fit for us. So uh, yeah. what would you like if you when you're doing your shoots at home, like, what's the like minimum amount of photos that you'd recommend that people come away with in that in that bank yeah well at the moment um sort of my session fee includes four photos and yeah. occasionally like people just get the four but i'm going to be changing that up to um to being 10 photos soon because i really think like 10 is a good balance to kind of keep you going for probably about a year uh, yeah. where you kind of like rotating and, and it also means you've got like nice photos to send out for press um so you can uh, keep appearing in different places but i'd say that's the minimum but yeah. like, a lot of people will go for like 30 and that will really mean that you can sort of like keep appearing in different places and and you know really keep it fresh but it depends on budget you know um it's an investment so you know yeah people should be able to see a return on the investment it depends how much you are charging so if your your rates are very high, then it's going to take you longer to see that investment back. So yeah. it really depends on like what your budget is to sort of how many photos people get. But um, I'd say ten's really the minimum. Yeah, no, that's great advice because I think my first photo shoot that I ever got, I had four, and it was perfect for the website, like you said, the different pages. But I did feel on social media and on LinkedIn, I was like using them again and again and again. So yeah. I do think ten is brilliant and to be honest you know i've had other shoots where i've had a lot more photos but you do tend to use probably the same 10 because you'll have your yeah. favorites so i, I yeah. think that's a really good number um to kind of build that know like and trust and like you say when people are ready they'll reach out and yeah i, was, I can't remember which 
chat I was saying it maybe it was with Dion on Monday because apparently now you need 16 touch points with people online before they reach out so you need to show up 16 times whether that 16 times on LinkedIn or in your email or your inbox or Instagram or Facebook it takes all that time so having yeah. the good visuals is like so important to to just yeah, definitely. people's heads and for them to know what you do. So I'm going to jump on to the next question, which is all about colour psychology. And we're both in the lovely blue today. Yeah. <laughs> and the importance of brand words. So I know that you're going to have mm. a new like bonus service coming out, which you're offering in the future. And you're going to be helping female entrepreneurs to explore their colours with another lady, which mm. I think is absolutely amazing because so many people are wearing the wrong colours or they don't know what colours suit them and their colouring and, yeah. and we do change over time I had my colours done years ago so I'm really excited mm -hmm. to get them done again with your lovely service because yeah. as I age maybe I need to wear different colours so do you want to just yeah. tell us a little bit about that like colour psychology and the importance of brand yeah. work? So um, whenever I kind of get together with somebody for their discovery call when they're thinking about having a shoot, I kind of ask them, like, what are your brand words and how do you want to come across? Because each color has um, different connotations. So yeah. like yellow will be like happy and cheerful and that kind of thing. Um, and green is kind of more of like the health kind of things, um, like soulful, you know, the earthy kind of yeah. tones. Um, so, um, and it, yeah, that blue is communication and professionalism and stuff like that. So, um, as they're talking to me, I'd be kind of keeping in mind how they want to come across, thinking of like what colors would work with that, as well as looking at what brand colors they already, they already have. Um, quite a lot of people are kind of come to me when they're in the process of rebranding, so they're not set on colors. So, that's quite yeah. helpful to kind of go through that process and say, well, you know, you've been thinking about using this color, but that like like red, for example, I use that with um, sort of lawyers and things like that because it's very like powerful, passionate, you know, I'm going to get things done. <laughs> so yeah. That's um, very arresting. And so, um, yeah, it's kind of thinking about those. But like you said, yeah, I'm also going to be working um, with uh, a kind of color analyst that was difficult to say <laughs> don't worry. i have got two times so many times this week so don't worry <laughs> yeah. um so we're gonna be working with her and like that's gonna be an added bonus like to working with me and it's gonna mean that you're gonna like um answer her questions as well and upload it's a digital service so you'll upload your photos and then she will look through your answers and your photos and do um, a color analysis nice. uh, and that will help for your shoe um because then I'll be able to see what colors like really bring you to life, really kind of make you pop against them. Um, and like I said, I custom paint um, a lot of my colors and things. So yeah, uh, yeah, so like I'll look through your color swatches as well. And we'll look at like, uh, I've closed the studio with two and we'll look through like what clothes you've got, what clothes I've got, um, make sure that we've got the color backgrounds that are gonna really like make you sing from the photo. Um, and so I'm really excited about involving that. And because previously I was sort of just working on the brand colors, but I think yeah. this will add a really nice extra dimension so that like, when you're appearing on LinkedIn, you might not always be in your brand colors, but you're gonna be really noticeable and look your best. So yeah, it's exciting. I think it, it's a great way to kind of mix things up. And I love that mm -hmm. you also have a selection of clothes. Like I can see your hand, mm -hmm. your handrail behind you there. And I think yeah. that's amazing because I'm already thinking, what am I going to wear for my yeah. shoes? I might be like, Rosie. Yeah, you know, well, I'm already I'm thinking, thinking, oh, I never, I've got the perfect thing. <laughs> so. Yeah, which is really helpful, I think, because a lot of people, um, they just... Uh, maybe they're not a lover of getting their photo taken and I'll be honest I'm one of those people but with somebody like you I know I'm in safe hands you have a lovely personable personality you put me at ease I love the fact in your onboarding questionnaire you're asking us about our favorite music to relax us our yeah. favorite food our favorite yeah. drinks Rose is going to give me some cake as well which is amazing yeah. I already feel like relaxed by the time I'm going to get there but I love yeah. the fact that you're offering these additional services like the makeup, like the hair, which I definitely yeah. need, and colour advice. And, you know, you've got some clothes on hand that you might yeah. go, actually, try this on. This colour might suit you and see where it goes. So it's exactly. kind of like, now. 
Yeah, we start with the clothes. So, like, um, I get people to send me a WhatsApp or an email with the clothes that they've already got or the clothes yeah. that they want to buy. And so I, I kind of know where we're going and what they like. Um, and But then, yes, I've got also got clothes here. So at the shoot, we'll always start with your own clothes first because oh, yeah. they most comfortable in those and we know we like those um but then when once we've gone through those then kind of you can have a little look through the rail and just you know i never oh i can suggest stuff but i will never say like you must wear this like yeah, i'll say yeah. oh, have you thought about this and we can try it on and see if it works or not um so yeah i've got loads of different clothes in all sort of colors and sizes and yeah it's really fun oh that's really great that's great mm -hmm. oh i'm just not like um linda because she's saying she's watching from the same town as rosie ex in exodus hey. um, <laughs> it's not exotic i think it's exotic i'm in Charlton down the road linda so i think devon's exotic it's all good <laughs> so i'm just gonna point um rosie kind of touched on um about people coming to her who are kind of rebranding and I know Rosie recently re redesigned her own brand and I'd love to know what's been important for you during that process yeah I think like um, making it reflect my personality was really important um so I, I've tried to do that I, when I started the business I always wanted to sort of work from home and to kind of so the house has been renovated with my quirky colorful style my playfulness and stuff like that and I didn't really feel like my brand was reflecting that enough um yeah. so i wanted the whole experience to to be like seamless like you'd like to look at my website and then we chat and then you walk into the studio and be like oh i just feel like everything makes sense and yeah. i've like arrived in the same place um and so i actually it's really nice like i worked with a graphic designer called kay hewitt who's oh, really so good nice. yeah <laughs> and um yeah, she, she kind of really got my kind of playful but vintage and colourful kind of style. And we actually used um, some, like inspiration from the kitchen. I've got blue and white striped wallpaper. Um, and we used, I've got a lot, of, as you can see, like yellow. So I've got lots of yellow. Um, and so we kind of, I took photos around the house. Um, and then she kind of brought it together under the brand. And I took, yeah, took my own brand photos and things. Um, and yeah, it's come together really nice. And so yeah you have to give it a lot of thought about how you want to come across and what your genuine yeah. personality is because you want that to kind of flow through the entire client experience so there's never any kind of jolt of like oh this isn't you know yeah i totally get that and i think it's really important to show up and be the exact same person and i yeah. think on linkedin sometimes there is a mismatch people think they need to be like super formal and stiff and yeah. i know some great like entrepreneurs and execs and they are quite bubbly outgoing people and then you look at their Facebook or LinkedIn headshot and they just look like they're kind of like sucking on a wasp or something <laughs> they're like, I'm serious. and I'm like that is actually not you and yeah. that's quite you know I think it's really important to to like fully show up as yourself and I know having met you like you've got a lovely bubbly personality and I, I think your brand is like totally on point and really reflects that so I love that you've done that I, I need to do that and my home office like i really i really admire you for doing that and it looks amazing and i cannot wait to visit your studio oh, um, somebody has put up i'm sorry i can't actually see the name you're just showing up as linkedin user i think it's probably because you're new to Streamyard or linkedin so you might even have clicked to kind of accept so that you show up in the comments but obviously this person is a client of Rosie's because they're, they're saying talking about the lovely snacks that Rosie gives you so oh you are, thank you. You, can, you can even type your name in the comments um don't worry that you're showing up as LinkedIn user with no photos sometimes this happens with StreamYard but yeah I look forward to the snacks with Rosie as well <laughs> yeah, they are good <laughs> So I've got like just two more questions that I want to ask. And of course, people watching today. So Linda, we've got Goppy, Gertrude, um, LinkedIn user, wherever you are. Please, you know, if you've got any questions about like a shoot with Rosie or shoots in general or anything, um, ask away, don't be shy. So I've got one good question here. So how can people feel confident in front of the camera, Rosie? And for me, I think you're already providing so much. For me, it's makeup hair yeah. and the old frizz gone so the fact that you're offering that is amazing 
I also know, having booked into you, you do an amazing email onboarding sequence. So you, like every day for a few days, I got little videos from you telling me, you know, we're going to do some stand up kind of poses. And then there was another day we're going to do some seated poses. So now I think a lot of people get blocked because they're just fearful of what's going to happen on the day. But you really spelled it out in your onboarding sequence. So I feel a lot more relaxed. Um, but what, like, what would you say can help people to feel confident in front of the camera? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's the whole kind of email sequence was definitely one of the things I wanted to have make people feel more confident and to kind of understand where they're coming so that they felt that they're being photographed by friends because yeah. you know, I love hanging out. That's why I, I photograph female entrepreneurs because I'm friends with those kind of people. I love women who are making, like doing amazing things in business, changing the world and doing like living life on their own terms. I love hanging out with those kind of people. So I, and I want, the, the women that come to be photographed to, to feel that we're friends and that yeah. they're just like hanging out with their friends and being photographed by a friend. And, and that can go a long way to feeling confident in front of the camera. And the way that I don't like, you don't come in and sit straight, straight down and immediately be photographed. It, it yeah. kind of, yeah, we have a bit of time for you to kind of get used to your surroundings. You have a latte, like have your hair and makeup to have like, you know, a bit of a laugh with everybody. And um, and then when we do finally kind of get over to the studio part, which is sort of in my living room, um, then I will start off by doing sort of, yeah, seated poses. So you're not immediately having to stand and like, yeah. ah, but um, and I'll show you the pose before we do it as well. Um, yeah. And then we'll have music going as well. So you can focus on the music. Um, and my camera is great because I don't have to hide behind it. I've actually got a screen that I can sort of like, so you can see my face when I'm taking photos and it doesn't make, it doesn't make noise either. So it's like, it's, it's a bit technical, but it's called like, it's a mirrorless camera. So um, it just means you can't hear it go smash, flash, flash, flash. Yeah. Um, and and you know and sort of we kind of the makeup artists and Caitlin and stuff will come come up and like we'll we'll be chatting to you and try and make you laugh and stuff like so it kind of feels like we're a, we're a group it's a group thing rather than you kind of being in the spotlight ah yeah um, so yeah that's that's really nice um I think the fact it's in your home as well makes you feel more relaxed as well um because I have done like shoots outside and I've probably felt a bit more self-conscious when I've oh, been yes. yeah. posting on a wall or posting in a restaurant and you know, they're nice pictures, but I was more self-conscious. So I yeah. like the fact that you are a team and all relaxed. And yeah. I've seen that too, all the photos I see from you on the home feed, all of your clients look super relaxed, super happy. All the colors are amazing. I love the fact that you're personally painting them as well, which is yeah. Um, but yeah, and and I have to say, you're one of the only photographers that I think of that actually shows up on video to kind mm. of introduce themselves. And a lot of photographers think that they don't need to because the photos speak for themselves, but they forget that actually the client needs to have that relationship with you to actually yeah. trust you to take the photos in the first place. So I love the fact that I kind of got to know you in your email mm. sequence and yeah. it takes away all the nerves because yeah. I think, you know, it's always that fear of the unknown, isn't it? When you're doing anything mm. new, um, yeah. that kind of, you imagine things and, and, you know, and I think you're taking away all that worry. So yeah. I think the whole process is amazing. So somebody here is, uh, is commenting saying posing is an issue. I think that they come across as stiff. Um, and, yeah. I, and I totally get that, but I, I'm sure like Rosie will put you in nice poses. Well, that don't yeah, like de definitely. I mean, like, and actually what, what we find with every shoot that we do is that like the first kind of like, or we call them sets. So like the first kind of thing, we don't get you in your favorite clothes. We don't get the favorite color and stuff because usually the first thing, you are feeling a bit stiff and it's like it's all new yeah. like all the attentions on you and it can be like very intimidating but then like as the shoot goes on you get warmed up and you realize oh this is fun actually you know i don't you know and you get used to it and the, the photos get better and better as time goes on yeah. um so yeah i mean don't worry about being stiff because everybody is a bit stiff to begin with um, and i, I like that i will show poses um so so you just have to copy what we're doing and then then we talk to you and kind of make you laugh and try and forget about the pose so that you then just like settle into it um and get the sort of natural expressions but it definitely the more you do that's why we have the full day as well you know it's not like if i was to try and take the first photo you would look a bit stiff um so that's why it's nice that we've got the full day together 
yeah exactly and you get more relaxed and yeah mm-hmm. I know because I haven't done shooting at the start you do feel a bit but I think the more you get into it you do yeah you just I suppose you realize you're there for a reason as well and if you're a business owner you kind of have to take yourself out of the equation and think well I'm actually trying to reach my clients so it's not yeah. really about you because as an individual you know I would avoid video even though I'm showing up here on LinkedIn Live <laughs> and photos yeah. but I realize um as a business owner <laughs> I need to show up because of what I do like as a trainer and a consultant people need to know like and trust me and I think you know when you kind of go with that frame of mind this is for my business as Rosie said this is an investment I never consider personal brand in photography as a cost it is an investment in your brand yeah. your business and your future and it will help you um, get that return on investment with your clients as well and attract mm-hmm. them so I think yeah um for me poses if you you know if you jump I might jump around when we do our shoot because sometimes oh, yeah. you have to take it out don't you because you get a bit oh scared. yeah I thought you meant like got some pose that you want to do where you're jumping or something <laughs> yeah, yeah just shake it out I think and I, I know anytime I've ever had to do like a talk that I'm you know nervous about or you know any kind of training I do the Amy Cuddy power pose where you lift your arms up oh, yeah literally like I used to do this back in the old days when we when we did talks in real life in person yeah. I was <laughs> I'd always go to the bathroom before and literally I'd be in the cubicle standing in the Amy Cuddy power pose. And if people don't know what it is, Google Amy Cuddy power pose TEDx talk. It's brilliant. And just by standing kind of in that kind of superwoman pose, the adrenaline and your endorphins do rise and make you more confident. So it makes you Yeah, yeah. Do it really for 30 to 60 seconds. And you can like stand up straight with like your hands on your hips. And that just it just kind of gives you more confidence and more it is a bit weird, but it's a scientific thing. So definitely Mm -hmm. try it out. It does kind of change your physiology and your brain. So that's my tip for the (laughs) post. Brilliant. And I can see we've got a lovely Priscilla from the LinkedIn Tribe Academy. Sadly, her face is not um, showing up. But hello, Priscilla. Thank you. That's who the, that's who the LinkedIn user is. And we, I'll be chatting tomorrow to Priscilla about mental health and LinkedIn. So I've got one other quick question for Rosie, and then I'll ask her for her contact details because we're nearly at the half an hour. Um, so the last question, really, and we've touched on this briefly, is what do you wear like what would you advise people to wear for their shoes yeah so i i usually recommend people bring about 10 different tops or dresses so like, yeah you can bring like in terms of trousers and stuff um i usually shoot only down to about the knee anyway because like when you're looking at photos online most people are scrolling on their phone you, you kind of need that face to connect with people so like we don't really need full length. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of like bringing a variety of different tops. Yeah, about 10 different tops or dresses and ideally block colors. Um, but if not block colors, then kind of quite bold patterns. You don't want like lots of tiny little patterns because they just yeah. won't pop out the screen. And especially like I'll pick out some colors like to go in the background from your outfits. Um, and so that, that color in the background is going to be quite vibrant and eye catching. So you want to make sure your clothes are also gonna sort of stand up to that um so um yeah i kind of like the block colors or sort of bold patterns is always really good that's good so i'll be bringing my little suitcase with me to you yeah what 10 things i'm going to bring yeah Um, so you've said like so you mainly do um kind of the knee up do you need to worry about shoes? I'm just asking personally as a client here, or should yeah. I just bring one or two? Or? No, I'd say bring one or two, well, bring two, two or three, because um, some of the poses um, where I get you to like, sort of like sit and might have a little bit of your leg or something. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Bring bring a few different shoes, but you don't need to worry about like you don't need to bring ten pairs of shoes. That's yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. And to be honest, it's a good it's a good excuse for me to bring some of my nice heels because I don't really mm-hmm. wear them that much anymore, just because of the life we're in, and I'm completely yeah. wearing them all. So sometimes I'm sitting here. So for example, today I've actually got my lovely slippers on underneath. But yeah, nice. <laughs> well, I won't be wearing slippers in the shoot. <laughs> Another good thing um, to check out actually is uh, I only I uh, found out again a friend from my client Laura Perks from PR Perks. Uh, she actually hired some clothes for the shoot, which I'd not sort of heard of anyone do before. Um, she used um, a company called I think it's Her H U R R, and they are basically like 
um, anyone that owns some designer clothes can rent them out. So it's not just one company. It's loads of different people like crowd sharing, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they've got like some really nice clothes. It might be worth having a look on there and just seeing if there's anything that sort of you wouldn't normally use. You wouldn't yeah. wear, but you might want to do something a little bit special, a little bit quirky and just like hire something um, but specifically for the shoot. Amazing. Now, that's a really good idea because I'm already going to think, what am I going to wear? So I will check that out. And uh, um, I can also think of like maybe getting the help of a stylist or even just going yeah. into any of the stores like, I don't know, John Lewis. Or well, I was going to say, John, John Lewis is what I'd really recommend. I go there a lot because um, it's, you know, a bit like how, how Debenhams was where you, like, you can go around and like look at loads of different brands. Um, but they have so many like really nice brands like Hush and Whistles and things. And they often have block colors, um, very stylish, lovely things. And you can see it all in one place. Um, so I, I really recommend. And like you say, they have like the in-store stylists as well. So, yeah, um, uh, yeah. yeah. I think you get a nice cup of tea as well. <laughs> so it's, good. well it's a good idea because you can give them your size and just say, I like xyz colors mm -hmm. and then book the appointment and show up and then they'll have it all on the rail in your size and then it just mm -hmm. helps you to kind of pick so i'm kind of saying this out loud because i need to do this for myself yeah, yeah. <laughs> this for accountability so other people might be like me kind of think what am i going to do so that's probably mm -hmm. what i'm going to do yeah. and then um, we've i've got carried away so we're just over the 30 minutes so i just want to wrap it up by asking you rosie what is the best way for people to get in touch with you if they want to book in a personal branding shoot yeah sure so you can either dm me on linkedin and just like if you pop in your email address then i can send you all the details that way or if you want to have a look at more of my work then i'm at rosiepassography.com and then you can contact me through the site and then i'll send you the email with like all the pricing information and what's involved so, that's amazing okay so I just want to say thank you so much for coming on today I think it's such an important topic and like you said you can really make a splash especially with your photos on the LinkedIn home feed and you know really get your brand out there it's you know I really can't wait to get mine with you because I know all of your images make such a pop and if you don't already know Rosie and you're watching this on replay or live just definitely reach out connect with her on linkedin or follow her you know and you will see her amazing photos they kind of speak volumes for the great work that she does so i'm just going to wrap up and say thanks a million for coming on rosie and You're just a quick, a quick shout out tomorrow for um priscilla i'll be chatting to priscilla about mental health and linkedin at 11 a.m so join us and if you've missed any of the other chats this week on monday i chatted to dion about the power of branded communications in order to attract your ideal clients and that's kind of like reinforcing what I've said today with Rosie and then on Tuesday we chatted with Pauline who's a business growth mentor and she had some great tips and yesterday I chatted to Jane about imposter syndrome and of course that could actually relate to today as well people thinking oh I'm not good enough for a personal branding shoot so do check out those have you any last final words Rosie <laughs> Um, it's been wonderful. I'm very excited for your shoot and I can't wait to like, to, yeah, we're going to do like lots of filming on the day and behind the scenes as well. So we'll share all of that on LinkedIn too. And then all of you guys can see the final results, which will be fun. Brilliant. And I'm just going to leave it at this from Angie. She says, thanks, Rosie and Jennifer. It sounds amazing. Okay. So a nice, a nice positive to end on. Thank you, Angie. And I'll see you soon, Rosie. And enjoy nice the rest of the day, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.